Hey all Alchemy here. Uh, so, I've been on a bit of a hiatus. Uh, I'm trying to fix that. Uh, this is also about the fourth or so time I've recorded this, but uh, hopefully we get this right without recording a whole, you know, hour video and not actually having good quality. Let's get into it. All right, first things first. And I'll just pretend to be surprised by everything. In wilds beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. Okay, admittedly, I butchered that almost every other time. So let's hope this is the take. All right, superhero landing joke. So, this is Hollow Knight. Uh, it is a Metroidvania-style game. Uh, basically, what that means is that uh, it is a game, it's a 2D exploration game. Um, usually one where, in, in this case, it is true. Uh, you collect power-ups along the way uh, that let you explore new areas and kind of double back on old areas. Um, it has a very neat combat system, very basic, but it feels tight. Um, originally, ow, I actually uh, played this on uh, on that their uh, PC uh, without a controller and controller is the way to go if you ask me and you didn't but you could have hey a mirror i hope it gives me superpowers or tells me about them higher beings these words are for you alone your great strength marks you amongst us focus your soul and you shall achieve feats which others can only dream hold circle to heal <laughs> Uh, so basically, you'll notice as I hit enemies, I gain uh, some of that top left uh, juice, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's helping me cast all sorts of fun spells. Right now, it's it's just gonna be the uh, uh, healing spell, but uh, we get more as uh, the game goes on. And that is, that is another way that this game, uh, you know, and it's Metroidvania-esque formula, ah, uh, work. Uh, it has spells and gear, uh, and like little badges, uh, as ways that you progress. So, it's a very neat game. I cannot wait to play past the first hour. Um... You'll notice I have little drippy blue dudes in my health corner now. Um, those, oh no, who saw that coming? Those uh, are basically extra hit points. Eh, pretty pretty self-explanatory if you, you know, if you see them, but it's good to note if you didn't. Uh, you get absolutely nothing for destroying the background elements, but when has that ever stopped anyone? Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hollow Nest. Let me in. Let me in. going to destroy the front door to get there. As is customary in my culture. Whee! Huh? Oh, there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, we've all disappeared. Headed down that well one by one into caverns below. 
Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you two seek your dreams down there. But watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. I dreamt one time uh, that I recorded this properly and, uh, you know, was, was happy with the end result and that video and audio all came together. If you go really far over there, there's just a keyhole you can't get in. All right. So, this is the actual game. The last place was yeah, more or less the tutorial level. Um, but, as you will see, I'm going to explore and, uh, you know, just kind of get, get some bug coins. Always good to invest in those. <laughs> That's the healing spell. Uh, you may notice that as I progress, I kind of just walk past coins. Uh, on my other playthrough, I got uh, this handy dandy little trinket that just sends out a swarm of bugs to pick up uh, any like spare coins that you just don't have time for. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting those. Again. Ah, boo. <laughs> That's another thing I like about the uh, magic system, is you, you kind of have to time it, at least with the healing spell. Um, you saw there, I didn't get my, uh, you know, my health because I let go of the button too soon, but it still drained the bug juice. And, uh... Yeah, I just think that's neat. I can't do anything over there. Oh no, that was a waste of time. No. Precognition kicked in. I gave this guy a really stupid voice on my first playthrough. I'm just, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. Hmm. Hello there, traveler. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade. And I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Yes. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from, from my wife, Iselda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. Yeah, I have my theories on this guy and his, uh, his love life, but there's a time and a place for that. All right. So, here's the map. Uh, as you can see right there, editor, yeah? Okay, thanks, because <laughs> I'm the editor. Uh, but yeah, right there is his face, um, and the areas right now, until I buy an item, will not fill in. Um, but my goal is to go under, up, and around to where that old, old horn head homie is. So, uh... Let's get exploring. 
Uh. So, it's only fair that I discuss part of why I'm actually getting back into this. Uh, I was a big fan of Unis Honest. And if you don't know, well, uh, you had to be there. But uh, it was a channel by Mark E. Plyer and uh, Crank Gameplays, uh, Eef, as he is more colloquially known. Uh, and uh, yeah, they just did a video a day, and there's so much more to it than that, but that's, that's the footnotes version. And if they could do a video a day, you know, maybe I can do a video a week and uh, work my way around to doing better. So, uh, that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, I want to go further over still, right? Yeah, but the lower path, haha. <laughs> I am trash with directions and such, so this is not the type of game I would normally play, but A, it was uh, free on PlayStation Plus this month, and B, uh, it, it's, it's, it's fun. It's just fun. I like, I like the game. Um, okay, so there. there's only one way. Ah, secret money, I forgot. Ooh. Okay. So I'm about there. I haven't the head for directions. <laughs> uh. okay. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> well, that's one way to get dangerous, I suppose. Uh, you know what? That's a fair trade. Okay, I think the next area I go up. I'm where I think I am. Go up. Don't go left. Go left at the second. It's the second turn. And if I've gone to Albuquerque, I've gone too far. Right? It's not that one. It's this one. Right? <gasps> hey, what's up, dude? I think I'm in the right place. Hi. This is what we uh, pro gamers call having an optimal footsies game. Optimal footsies game. Yeah. Optimal.
big open room. Locked door. I think I'm going the right way. Quite rude. So last time I did this, I was nice to him, but uh, turns out you just gotta hit him. And he has no qualms. Uh, 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 okay. He has no qualms hitting me, so. I don't feel as bad as I as I did, despite his goofy face. He's an absolute loony. Ah! Bad dodge. Ah! Bad offense. <laughs> no offense. Some taken? I don't know. Cut that out. No. No, I don't think I will. Hello there. You know, as a boss, you okay? bigger than me, but hey, the city crest. All right. Ah, and then a treasure chest. Good, 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 good. I don't think I can get up there this way. Um, you know what? That's not, that's not my goal. My goal is to find a bench. I think, uh, I think if I can find a bench, I had a pretty good place to call it. And, uh, ooh, I know where I am. And a lever. Okay, is there uh, something over here? A face thingy. Sorry, I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop in our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area? Available for an excellent price. Ding! Cornifer. Corny Jennifer, I guess. All right, let's let's get this knocked out, and then uh, and then all will be well. Yes. Okay. So. This is a this is a really good place to end because it'll be a really good place to start next time. Uh, but yeah, I thank you guys so much for uh, watching. And again, hopefully this is the take because if it's not, I'll just start over again. You know, determination. It's what's for dinner. Bye.